In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to turn this table with this all inconsistent data to be a drop down list, or in fact, it will be a dependent drop down list. For example, you will be able to choose the country and then you will have the cities here in the other list. So you can choose the city with ignoring any blanks at your dependent drop down list. And as you can see, if you change the country to a United States, for example, you will see all the states in the United States of America. And let me tell you as usual that the file we will be using at this video is linked blue at the description. You can download it and try along with me. So let's get started. As you can see here, there is a table that having inconsistent data in the point of view of the lengths of the cities. For example, we have here the United States have almost 45 cities or states and Germany have almost 20, England have 28 and etc for Canada and Spain. And all we need to do is to create a drop down list here that includes all cities or all countries. And then based on that selection, we need that a dependent drop down list here that shows us the cities included under each country we have in our table. The number of rows of each country that or each country have in our table is not the same as others. So let's start with the easiest thing to create a drop down list that includes all countries we have in our table. And to do so, we need to go to data menu and from data we need to choose data validation from this window we'll choose allow as list and then the source will be the list of countries we have in our table and then we'll click ok so we will have the first drop down list which includes a country name united states germany england canada spain and to do the dependent drop down list we need to use a formula or a function that we already explained before in that video and i'll keep the link of that video below in the description you can can check it out it's offset function so how can we do that to explain that let's try to select any empty cell and try to find how we can get the cities of any country based on that drop down list so we will start using offset function and as we explained before that offset function required the first thing here is the reference the reference here we have to select the cell from which the offset function will move to the right, left, up or down. So we will select here, for example, the cell F3 and then we will press comma. Then we need to tell offset how many rows it should go down or up. And because currently we don't know how many set is included in each country that selected in the first drop down list. So we will keep it as one because we need it to move to the first selection in each country or the first city in each country. And then we will press comma to move to the third part, which is the column number. Here we don't know exactly what is the country we will select in the first drop down list here. And we need to make it dynamic. So we will need a function that work dynamically to check the name of the country based on the first drop down list accordingly we will use a match as we explained before match is a dynamic function that determine the row or the column that ranked on a specific uh, range whether it was horizontal or a vertical range so we will start using match like that the local value is the value that we are looking for and for our example here we are looking for the country that we will select in that drop down list so we'll select this cell it's b4 and then we will press comma where the country located what exactly is the range that includes the countries it's that range and then we will press comma to move to the third part of match function which is the match type so here we will select or type zero from our keyboard to check the exact match we are seeking to search for exact country name in our list that we already selected. Then we will press comma to move to the most important part here, which is the height. Why it's most important here or why it's most important part? Because we don't know exactly how many rows of each country or the number of cities for each country. And that might be a variable because for now, if we are including only 45 cities in the United States, we can increase them in the future to be like 50 or 48 or any other. And that for sure vice versa, we can decrease the number of cities based on our requirements. So how 
can we deal with that we need to use a function that count the actual rows or the actual row that includes data in it and the data here will be the city's name so if we are thinking with a function that can count the number of rows or the number of data included in a specific range we can check the count function and because we are seeking to count the rows that including a text in it we will for sure go for a count a so we will type as count a and for the first value we need to be a dynamic we don't want to select a specific range that keeps static and keep showing all the specific numbers of rows and that will make us to refer back again to use offset function again and embed it again in our formula so we'll copy this part and put it here as value number one so this count a function is going to count the number of cells that included in such range which referring back to the first country or the country we already previously selected from the uh, uh, drop down list or the first drop down list and if we press comma here we will get back again to the height but here it's a different situation because we can just select a huge amount of cells we can count only and the function will count only the cells that including a data in it so we will type for example here as a maximum level there is no country that might include a thousand or two thousand or a hundred or five hundred cities in it so we will keep it as a thousand and then we will close our bracket for this offset and close the bracket of the count a so now we have the height of the first offset function because this part of the count a will calculate exactly how many cities included in in the country we are previously selected from the first drop down list then we can close the final bracket of the offset and if you are asking about the width here we are not seeking to check the width unless your data is sorted in a horizontal way instead of a vertical way you will flip everything we choose and we will choose width instead of height so in our current situation we don't need the width at anything we need to just close our final bracket of the offset here a different thing that might uh, face a different user if you are using an old excel version you will have an error once you press enter at that and if you are using a, an excel for 365 or for example 2021 you will have a spell function for that but at any case now we will have an error we don't we will not have a real value for that because we didn't select the country at the beginning so let's try pressing enter from our keyboard now we have that in a as not available because we didn't choose previously the country here but if we try to select a country from the first drop down list here for example for england it will shows us a list of the cities that included in england country but with a second how we can utilize that in our dependent drop down list that was for an explanation purpose but actually this formula that we were typing we will copy it like that and we will put it as a source of the dependent drop down list so we will select the cell we need to put our dependent drop down list here and then from data menu we will go for data validation and choose allow for list and for the source we will press from our keyboard control v and then press enter now if you check that dependent drop down lists it shows you a full list of the cities without any single blank cell so you can choose any dependent city based on the country you choose and that will dynamically change if you change the country from the first the drop down list like that if we for example choose spain now you will see here in select city madrid barcelona valencia and etc you can choose any city now we can just clear that selection and keep the first drop down list and the other or the dependent drop down list a bonus tip here if you would like not to type your formula here directly you can use named range so we can have our formula and go for formulas go to name manager and create a new range let's start for example name series and for refers to we will put our equation there press ok then close the name manager then we can go back again for data let's clear all at the beginning press ok now we are not having any drop down list here so we can open it again and select list and type equal cities then press ok 
Now, if we check that drop down list, we have our dependent drop down list back. You can choose whether country you need, and then you can select the city based on the country you selected at the beginning. That's it for today. And that was a straightforward example about how exactly you can create a drop down list and dependent drop down list that can dynamically change based on your selection from a specific data or a specific table you have. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumb up and make sure to subscribe for more Excel tutorials that save your time and boost your skills. Finally, remember that the file is used in this video is linked in the description below. You can download it and try it by yourself. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.